hopefully I can have a little bit of RNG, a little bit of play, and what, what did we learn last week? That maybe I need to bank a little less scrap, maybe? Get luckier, maybe? I don't know. But let's just jump right in and see what our first random ship of the day is, and see if we can stay positive growth mindset. Here we go, random ship in three, two, one, and random. Zoltan A is a pretty darn good ship. I definitely like this ship. Let's see, and I'm pretty sure I have some Zoltan requests. I got somebody who wants to be a battery. Oh, or name somebody battery. So let me get this started here. Uh, battery. Um, before anybody does requests, please do not do requests. Goodness gracious. Before I get the YouTube names in. Uh, Linus Pilot, no. Okay. Um, but do 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 slug stealth beat pilot mantis mantis uh another Zoltan named Tony. <laughs> There's a great normal name. Let's get Tony on our ship here. All right, Tony here, and I think that's all the names for you two that I currently have. Ion bomb is S tier in your heart. Okay, great. Well, thankfully we don't have one of those. Let me make sure that um, V sync. I don't want this on, actually. I think. That well, maybe I don't want that on. I turned this off, I think, yesterday on hyperspace to make it so that the speed uh cheat engine speed boost thing would work, so maybe I needed to keep that off. Uh let's see here. Uh you notice that your runs simply go better when you feed the flagship. That's a pattern I've discovered. Something I should try. What's up, sleeping Steven the uh, dragon over? Yes, yes. Beating the boss is a good way to win. True. Um, let's see. Salt is day of the week. Salt thread and RFTL to put ion bomb is A tier along with heavy laser. It was quite offensive to you. <laughs> okay. Well, I know that Sleeping Dragon likes ion bomb. Need one HP more than death. Also good pro tip. All right. What's up, T-Bone Jinx? I suppose Zoltan C, the power ship. Uh, can I be the stun bomb? Sure. All right. Yeah. If somebody wants to do, um... Uh, whatchamacallit, um, the, 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 whatever it is, there it is, prediction, that thing, Pie boy has got it, thank you, Pie boy. uh, so I need two nebula jumps, it looks like, so, so this ship, Zoltan A, super good, Zoltan Shield, Halberd Beam, freaking OP, let's hope we can, um, be OP in this run, I already have brain farts, I don't know, I mean, I always take a while to open up my brain to, to, to make things work. I don't know about you all, but I don't know. I might be, I might be, uh, what's, what's the thing where you lose your memories when you're old? I might be that thing, <laughs> whatever that thing is. This is a, this is a training ship, isn't it? The problem is I can't train anything if I have to have two dudes be in shields all the time. Alzheimer's. I'm, I'm, a, I'm actually slightly worried I'll have Alzheimer's when I'm older. Or dementia or something with the way, way my brain can't remember stuff already, so. Uh, another Tuesday, another day of feeding cookies to the believers, huh? That just sounds like being old, yes. Forgetting the thing about forgetting being called nice. All right, madman, keep making fun of me. How old are you? One day your brain will stop working, and then you will be the one. And then you will just, you will be the one. I can't brain today, I have the dumb, that's right. Alright, well, empty jump is empty. Not a great start. Uh, I can go down here and then back up and around, it looks like. Okay. We will all die one day. We will all get older and we will all die. Happy birthday and a happy new year. Merry Christmas. -ness. Happy Hanukkah. You know, happy Valentine's Day. By the way, happy Valentine's Day tomorrow. <laughs> I didn't forget that. Valentine's Day is tomorrow. Oh, this one doesn't one shot. I forgot. It's only Glade Beam that one shots Zoltan Shield. It already does forget stuff. You mean your brain? You're just poking lighthearted fun. All right, all right. Okay, I probably could have done that better, but it's fine. Uh, today is also Mardi Gras. Oh yeah, Fat Tuesday. That's what today is, right? Or at my church job, they have a Shrove pancake dinner. I don't know what that means. I guess it's another word for Fat Tuesday or something. 
It's forever alone days tomorrow. <laughs> wait, wait. Today is Mardi Gras. Okay, I don't, I don't know the rules for Mardi Gras. But that today's a Tuesday, so wouldn't it be Fat Tuesday, like which is before Mardi Gras? I don't know. I'm no, I'm no expert. All right. Uh, I think we're Sleeping Dragon. I think Sleeping Dragon skips all upgrades and just tries to save up for hacking immediately. If I don't, if I'm, if I'm remembering correctly. One, two, three. That'll get me eleven. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, yeah. I think I think we should just save for store on this ship. Although weapon value doesn't sound terrible, and I always like getting one engine power. I'm trying to remember what I actually do. Engine or two is cheap and effective on this ship early. I think I might do one engine and then save. I think because then I can depower O2 to have a little bit better dodge. I'm not sure what Sleeping Dragon likes. You just know some. Folk like getting Leto online. For a few years, you've had a tradition to spend the 14th offline. Hey, Sleeping Dragon. Speak of the devil. What's your first upgrade, Sleeping Dragon? Engine upgrade. Get Leto online. Second shield. The day after tomorrow is the day you're getting one year closer to dementia. Okay, cool. Weapons buffer is your first Alt A upgrade. Okay, weapons buffer, huh? Okay. This means your new watch streak will end. Because you have to, you have a tradition to spend the, the 14th fully offline. Ah, is that you're giving up the internet for Lent for a day or something? You forgot about the Lido, though. You totally forgot about that, huh? Honestly, I usually like getting the engine upgrade before the Lido, but getting the Lido online probably is better. Probably is better. So I spent 10 extra scrap then by doing that. Am I okay with that? Yeah, yeah, I guess I'll do this. Now we save. Now we save, I guess. Look for the rebel ship. Okay, good. We didn't even lose a jump. Very nice. Man, I love this ship. This and Stealth A might be two of my favorite ships to just be like... Yeah, yeah, we should be fine. We should be fine. Missile down, beautiful. <laughs> Weapons buffer is basically disaster insurance. Sultan A can fall apart surprisingly quickly if an enemy can chew through your Sultan shield fast. Okay. <laughs> Praying for a detilt day today. Me too. I would like to not be tilted. That'd be nice. You're gonna board me now, yeah. Yeah, I should kill him. You guys. You guys go here. Beep, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, 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 boop, beep, boop, we can do the hardships next week. That's right. Or two or Thursday. Just not today. Um, you hate this ship? Running guys all over the place and manage power is very annoying if you lose one for any reason. Mr. Notbot, have you played Zoltan C? If you hate power management and you hate this ship, then do you just never play Zoltan C? Because this is one of the best ships in the game. The power management is not even that bad on this ship. It is annoying. No lie, it's annoying. But have you played Zoltan C? Could you be any more something reference to uh, Matt Perry from Matthew Perry from Friends? Could you be any more wrong about this ship? I guess I should prevent some things for borders, I guess. Yeah, maybe Mr. Notbot is confused about this ship. This is the Zoltan A, one of the most OP ships in the game. This is not Zoltan C, the crappy ship with no power. Kind of low power, not that bad. Uh, eight, seven, six, five, four. Now I want to get here as late as possible. How can I do that? Hmm. 
I think I'd have to go, I guess I could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'd go to the nebula. It's a civilian nebula. Let's do that. So let's get as much scrap for the store as possible. The ship needs two Zeltan, non Zeltan crew, then it's full power management, super easy. Two Zeltans and shields and one in engines. Weapons, okay. Missile there. Um, actually, I might even move you this guy to get some more power here. I should pull the pilot. Yeah, that's good. All right, let's go do this. Oh, okay. Now shields are, or his, his laser was up. Now it's down. Oh, that was down and it's up. Something. Okay. Uh, Google Wallet on your phone stopped working. It said there was a problem setting the active account. You uninstalled and reinstalled. Now the Play Store says this app not compatible with this device, which is an insane statement. I think for ages you want a new phone. So you got an S24 came today. Installed Google Wallet. And says there's a problem setting up the active account. F you, I guess. God. Uh, well, that sounds like not a fun issue to deal with. Good luck with that. I cannot help you, but good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That sounds like a pain. Do you pay with everything with Google Wallet or something? Time for auction, not included stress. That's right. Okay, quest marker. Okay, I could do that. Yes, I am tech support. Welcome to Rand's tech support stream where I do tech support for software that I've never used before. Uh, if you ask me, you should just give all your money to me, and then, and then you won't have to worry about Google Wallet because there won't be any money in it. All right, there's there's my tech support for the day. Google Wallet literally refuses to open it, throws the error message, and closes. Okay, I, I really don't know how to help with that. <laughs> uh, hacking that I can't afford because we just had like three effing empty jumps in a row or something stupid. All right, I'm just gonna get what I like then, I guess. I, I, can I sell this for hacking? No, I'm still eight scrap short. I'm not selling Zoltan Shield for hacking, but don't ask. I'm gonna get long range scanners. Okay. Um, Since I know I'm not getting hacking now, do I just go for the second shield to make for safe fights, maybe? Yes, thank you for calling my tech support. No, oh, department. If you hate Google Wallet, you never use it. Except Arsenal decided access to the stadium is through Google Wallet, which makes your issue. I don't I, I don't know what all that means, so okay. Sorry to hear about it. Thanks for telling about your problems. <laughs> what, what even is Arsenal? What stadium? I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm just gonna buy a little power actually here. Uh, do I want shield value point? Do I keep saving? I don't even know what to do here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with second shield, I guess. For shield value point. Arsenal is a London football team. Great. Um, It's sports ball, all right. Second shield does sound nice. You play defensively, you also die. Well, I mean, this ship... This guy's running. Ah, uh, Jesus. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna use an extra freaking missile here. In case he's got level two. Piloting. Okay, he doesn't. Perfect. Okay. Right, I'm using one more missile. I don't want you to have missiles. You are not allowed to have them. Man, what the actual fuck? By the way, there is a new update to the missile mod, so more cursing by pass Rand. Uh, what's up, 19 video games? Been a while. You believe the start of 2020 when you watched last stream? How's it going so far? I'm gonna stay for a bit, but what did I miss? Check the vod. Good to see you though. 
You've missed many, many attempts at me getting harmonopause cycle and my best being at 24 a couple times. I guess that's what you've missed. What's up, gamer penguins? You tell them, Pastor Ann, I know. You're a season ticket holder, you go to pretty much every game, now you can't access your ticket because it's on Google Wallet, so you can't get in the stadium. You're stuffed. Okay. Stuffed sounds like you just ate a lot of food. So, uh, congratulations on being stuffed. I feel like you're. Ha I'm having a very confusing conversation with somebody who speaks a different version of English than me, with all the stuff I watch FTL's telling me. <laughs> sure, have fuel. 18 scrap, okay, that's worth. A lot of odds you had to get caught up. Yes, a lot of odds you got to get caught up. Okay, uh, I'm not going to do that deal, though. Alright, civilian, yes, please. I don't know what it means when a British person says, I'm stuffed. Because when I hear I'm stuffed, I think, well, then why'd you eat so much food? Sounds like maybe I'm stuffed means I'm angry, or I'm screwed, or... I'm at a SOL, shizn is a lot of luck. Let's get our second shield, maybe we have a safe fight to train here. It means screwed, okay, okay. Okay, gotcha. It is, it is those things I was thinking. Okay, cool. Well, sorry you're stuffed. <laughs> sorry about the stuffage. Sorry about that. Oh, free engine hack, because why not? Off my weapons, please. Thank you. In trouble or full of food? Either one. Okay. Alright. The LDR, I'm happy for you or I'm sad that happened. Delete as appropriate. Okay. You think that's confusing on this side of the ocean? Pants means underwear. <laughs> it also can mean... Isn't pants a swear word? I'm pantsed or something. I feel like I've heard people use pants as some sort of... I don't know if a swear word, but like a... That's pants. Yeah. What does that mean? That's bad or that's good? I don't, I'm not sure. Hey, carefully cut that ship out. Alright, uh, if this is manly search, I would not do it. Down under, thongs or flip-flops. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it is a fight here. Okay, let's kill the... Kill the drone, actually. I better get over shields now. Fuck you, FTL. Okay. Okay. All right, that's fine. Is there a fire anywhere? Hopefully not. Okay. Um. That's pants means that's crap. You're American, but you've been there enough for work. Okay. Okay. You know some of the slang, I guess. I'm not sure why pants has turned into something bad over there. <laughs> Do you all like not like wearing pants? an interesting slang, I feel like. Do I have literally one real power here? No, I should have three. I do have three. I guess Halberd Beam is just really expensive power-wise, I guess. Why is Pants bad over there? I don't understand. Uh, Pantaloons! What's up, BJ? Thank you for the five bits. Appreciate that. Alright, we are close to being able to get hacking. If I hadn't got my second shield, I could get it. Meanwhile, you're also doing his ult and A run with paws. You already got a cheap but not free NG. Nice. On the other hand, the dog's bollocks means good. <laughs> okay. Really? Uh, I don't want to sell anything. I, I, I could sell Lido and long range scanners to get hacking. I don't want to, though. Not a solar flare. Do I do a solar flare? Good power. This is not a great start. I feel like my sector two has been crap so far. My sector one wasn't bad. I guess I just spent my scrap on the wrong stuff or something. Uh, 
Probably did that wrong, but whatever. Uh, I need to get out of here as quickly as possible. And of course he has a value point in shields, because why the F wouldn't he? Okay. Okay, that should kill him. Okay, it's fine. Only one damage from Solar Flare. One off of hacking. Why you do this to me, game? One off. Alright, would I sell Leto for hacking? Maybe. Do I sell long range scanners? I probably should, but I don't want to. Alright, I'm gonna do one more jump for the store. Bees knees in a more polite way of saying good. I have heard of this is the bees knees. That is something I've heard in the US. Alright, this is training ship. We have a training ship. Now I don't really have any good training to get, so I guess we'll just get what training I can get here. Piloting on his ult and I don't care about engines and this guy on shields, so will I do any frost training, maybe. I wonder if this is a crew kill ship too, maybe. Salt, yes. Uh, it's porcupine today is salt day. Definitely worth cross training pilot on shield since you'll presumably end up there when you get an on salt and yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Probably what I'll end up doing. All right, so we'll, we'll cross train these two guys between shields and piloting. That's what we'll do. And I'm more interested in the shield training on this guy than the piloting training on this guy. Okay, there's shields done, piloting, and there's engines. Okay, you go there. You go there. Okay. Fully pantsed. Fully pantsed. So that means to be in a bad situation, I assume. Yes, pew, 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 pew. Alright, they're leveling up about the same speed, not bad. Why doesn't Pass Rain say anything about dodges during training? Because it's only when it's missiles, only pawns. I only curse at missiles because missiles are stupid and cheating and the devil. So I only curse about those. Isn't pants the thing where you pull down people's trousers? That's what it is in the US. To pant somebody is a really stupid but thing that people do in high school or something. Um, I actually don't have enough power for my halberd beam, do I? I guess I do... I do this. Um, we do have sensors. Should I check... If I can crew kill this? Hold on a second. Let me go check sensors here. I'll take power out of my weapons, please. Yeah. That's gonna be the NG. So if I do... This... We have a Mantis repairing that. Okay, I think this might work. I think we might be able to crew kill this. Except, okay, the NG is now on engines. Okay, I think this is a slow but potentially doable crew kill. I think. Thank you for the uh, tier one sub on original name. Appreciate that. Pretty sure I'm correct about this. Two Mantis on this layout. You thought it was just an NG and a Mantis? There you go. That means the Mantis is going to go over here and repair it every time. So, as long as we don't do too much damage, this should be a crew kill. Should die after the third O2 hit. Sleeping Dragon with the Knowledge Bombs. Uh, and not stupid cheating and the devil, it is. Missiles are stupid cheating and the devil. They really are. So uh, this weekend, I'm gonna we're gonna have our first meeting about potential 
uh, FTL tournament, so that's cool. This Saturday, me and Kasalian and a couple others, I think we're going to chat on Discord to start laying out some ideas for things we can do. One of the things to build up hype might include us doing like a show match on the stream at some point, which could be fun. Didn't you say it was the second one? I feel like I've done more than two. You said after the third O2 hit. How close are we? Okay, there it is. It's happening. It's happening. I just haven't been keeping track. There it is. Okay. It was actually the fourth. Your mistake. God, your mistake. Totally. You should feel bad about it. Not having that memorized. Totally feel bad about it. Have I had many geezers say they'll play? Geezers, huh? Well, I haven't been talking to people because Cassalian does all the work. But I'm pretty sure Rackagak, Farb, uh, I don't know about Dolphin. Um, I'm guessing Hollowwood, I'm pretty sure. Um, Freddy said he would be up for casting again. Uh, I'm hearing a lot of stuff secondhand because, you know, Cassalian is the one who does all the legwork to actually make this thing happen. I just kind of show up and help cast and try to build up hype. Getting players for a show match might be easier than the first time. You were glad to do it, though. Yeah, it was fun. Pie Boy needed that. Necro, Billy. I haven't asked them, but maybe, hopefully. Yes, we get hacking. Yes, we get hacking. Beautiful. All right, now we can finally buy some power, I feel like. Now that we have the hacking, finally buy some power. You're happy to do the tournament, although your no pauses are rough. You don't have to play no pause, Sleeping Dragon. But if you want to be competitive, you will have to play fairly fast. I I think one of the things that Kasalian said in his discussion was Rakagak is that we might have to do some pretty... We might want to do some fairly substantial changes to the scoring uh, formula. And I think that's one of the things we're going to talk about this weekend. I don't know what those changes will be. My guess is that... Rakagak wants it to be less based on score, more on speed, but I don't I don't actually know. I think we're going to be discussing that this weekend. How hard is it to get Mike to compete? I don't know. I, I would hope Mike Copley would be interested in joining us. But he plays really slow, so I don't know. Well, that's very tempting. That is very tempting. Freddy, unfortunately, isn't available, Kassalian says. Oh, okay, I thought he was going to join us. He mentioned a few days ago. That's sad. You've done a few half pause test runs. Okay, okay. Speak of the devil, there's Kassalian, though. Uh, Kassalian would know more about who's actually, you know, said positive about being able to join. Uh, man, I kind of want to take this really bad. Mike joined the last tournament. His run's just not over yet, Kappa. <laughs> The meta was score farming, not fast runs last time. Hey, speak up, Mike Hoffman. What's up, Mike? What do we think, chat? It's uh, nearing the end of Sector 2. I have my hacking. I have my shields, too. I have my weapon upgrade. I really want this rock, dude. This is guaranteed high scrap if I turn it down, though. I feel like this is, as it was NG, I'd immediately take it with rock. I really don't know. How much scrap do we get? We get high scrap in Sector 2 if I turn down this rock. Yeah, the rock dude is one power. That's another reason I want to take it. You'd reject so you can get hacking 2 before next sector. It's 19 to 23 in Sector 2. Pretty good, man. That's pretty good. 19 to 23 is a lot of scrap. I'm going to take the crew. I'm going to take it. I really, I really value highly getting my Zoltan off of shields. This also gives me the power to have my hacking online. You think we can be greedy for a rock? Yeah. How much is one power compared to high scrap? I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. I do still want to use my uh, drone parts as little as possible since we only have five. He dodged. Not a great start. Let's do another one here, please. Okay. Fuck you, man. Beautiful. Um, you don't know how clear you made it, but the show match you mentioned is about you playing, so you can get a feel for it. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if it was a show match 
for me against somebody else? Or I assumed a show match would be me versus somebody. Because I'm already planning once we get, you know, closer to it to do some, like, practice rounds on my stream to get people to understand kind of the scoring system and me to... I never actually played with our scoring system to see how well I would do, at least trying to, you know, get as high a score as possible. Is the meta being score farming something you want to see changed? Hi, Rand and Plaz. What's up, Britnoff? I think that's what we're going to talk about this weekend, Britnoff. I think me, Kasalian, maybe Rakagak, and one or two others might be having a discussion on how we want to, you know, woodshed the scoring. I think that's one of the discussions we're going to have. Pink Crew is essentially a 20 scrap, no consumables deal. This is terrible. Pink Crew's opportunity cost, though. It means you buy power now rather than when you're ready. Now rather when you're ready. Maybe you can play versus me, guarantee you win. <laughs> play versus Mike, the slowest player of all time. Uh, I mean, it'd be fun for the first, you know, hour and a half, and then while we're waiting for you to finish your six-hour run, it might be a little less fun. <laughs> but we get to see all your cool tips and tricks that you do all the time, though. Um, I could train dodges here. Do I want to do that? I think I do. Um, he's got boarding. Actually, I don't want to do that here. I don't want to do that here because those weapons could eventually get do damage to me. It would take a while, but it would eventually do damage to me. Um. Cassalian, in response to, is the meta going to be score farming? Cassalian says, we're basically starting from scratch. Premise is the same, finding the best performance and developing a way to measure performance, but those questions are best to be addressed in the Discord, not during Rand's live stream. Yes, we do have, uh, over on the Irie Legacy Discord, I believe there is at least one or two um, Discord threads that you can participate in if you're interested in talking about scoring. So I'm pretty sure that's the whole point of the, um, let me do the link here. Let me do the link here. FTL tourney two. There's a link to the spreadsheet if you're interested in uh, recording some runs so that we can use that for data collection. And if I do exclamation point, I re, I think that discord link is actually still good. I think. Hopefully Cassalian's all right with me doing those links there. I didn't save my positions. Oh crap, you're right, I didn't, did I? Okay, all right. Uh, okay, we're gonna stand here for a bit then. Uh, there's a channel where everyone, everything about the tournament we talk about. Live streams are pretty much derail unless it's a and A. I mean, you hung out in my chat. It's always derailed. I don't mind discussing this thing, this stuff. Uh, we probably won't make any decisions in this stream, but I mean, I, people are excited about it, so I don't mind discussing it here. All right, let me go over here. I do want to find a ship where I can train piloting on this uh, rock dude if I can make that happen. Uh, you're at the end of Sector 3. You've gotten tons of free stuff. No hacking yet, though. Congrats on the free stuff. Free stuff is best stuff. I wonder if it's technically possible to induce, include hull damage if it's possible for hyperspace to track it. I don't know. Any way to get bet on Rand during the tournament? <laughs> you should not bet on me winning. Although, I, I don't. I also don't know if we're doing it on my channel or Ivy Legacy's channel, but we should probably do some predictions for each round. It would probably be fun. Man, I'd love to get two more jumps. Definitely should make use of the uh, prediction thing for the tournament. I'm sure we will. Abandoned 3 is actually great. We'll like that. Rock is in shields. Did I not just move him? I swear I just moved him. Man, I just moved him. All right, thanks for helping, chat, but I think I got it. <laughs> I think I got it. All right, I need... Uh, let's get hacking, too, before I get power. I derailed your mom last night, Trebek. All right, great. All right, power weapons to attack. He has a flak, too. But we should be able to fire before him if I hack shields. Here, let's do that. Destroy and scrap. 
Okay, there it is. Okay, no value point in shields. Nice. Oh, his flak did not go offline though. Okay. Well, he can't dodge, so kill him before that fires, please. Perfect. Um, uh, predictions would be cool. Yeah, I mean the tournament. I assume it's gonna be very similar to last last time we did it, and it'll be a one v one each round. So, is that what we did? I think it was a one v one. I feel like I had in my head it'd be like one v one v one v one each round, but. I think it was one v one each time. I, I I sometimes get our tournament mixed up with the. Did anybody ever watched? Uh, was it Cobalt Streak and the Balls of Steel tournament for um, Binding of Isaac? I'm pretty sure that was like a one v one v one v one. They had four different people doing the same run at the same time. As always, I that was years ago, but I enjoyed watching that years ago. What's up, Tyler the driver. Uh, Rand, I would, happy, I would be happy to not participate in the scoring method discussion because I'm terrible at this game. Cool, good to know. If I recall, Scan for Life Forms is better in that event. Okay. I don't know why, but sometimes I think Zoltan is going to give me a blue option on that event, but... Zoltan does not give a blue option on that event. I can never remember which, which event is the Zoltan overcharge there or something. I can never remember which event that is. Hopefully you're not busy with real life, so you can either take part or cast even to help out during the tournament. Hopefully, Pie Boy. Maybe you'll book off work for it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Make it a huge group and have everyone play the same six seeds and make a league table on score time based on being a straight versus. Wait, instead of being a straight versus. Oh, that sounds like a completely different thing that we're probably not going to do. Um, I don't have anything to sell yet, really, do I? Man, this is... I guess it's been okay. It hasn't felt like that good of a run yet. I think it's because I've gotten zero free stuff so far. Zero free stuff. Can I have some free stuff, please, video game? My well, music is awesome. Zoltan Overcharge is a malfunctioning defense satellite. Yeah, that sounds about right. Sounds about right. And I'm trying to save my hacking here. Save Could my you give me a goddamn break, you cheating ass mother effing game? <laughs> Tell them how you really feel, past Rand. There we go, nice. Come, come, come. Uh, I think that's gonna hit, I think. Uh, six fuel is pretty good. But nope, I need scrap. Nope, I need scrap. That sounds chaotic to present as a broadcast. Yeah. Yeah, and Salian says we want to stream every single game since we're still dabbling with the scoring measures. A league style condition is not yet feasible. You've never really put yourself into the FTL community at the moment. You're busy, busy, busy. Yeah. Real life trumps video games and Twitch, sadly. Is that a dead end? No, that does connect over there. That does not connect. All right, I kind of want to get one more power before I start saving. Okay, now we're saving for maybe cloaking or a weapon upgrade or something. But yeah, we, we've had lots of suggestions about how other ways we could, you know, run the tournament or stuff, but, you know. It's, um, we want it to be, you know, a good viewing experience as well. Let me fucking hit good him! Hit. Come on, man! Oh, he dodged, though. He dodged. Come on, come on. Missile down, please. Good. Very good. I, I seriously doubt we're going to make major format changes this time. But again, we're still in the early processes, so... Um... Ow! Ow! <laughs> That's a new Lido sound! <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Ow. <laughs> That's a new one. <laughs> uh, that was good. That was really funny. I like I like the ones that are just 
various sounds that I've made and not me cursing. Because I feel less guilty about me just making random sounds than me going, F this effing effer effer. Uh, one person picks the pirate sector, the other picks the NG sector, and the seed being the same doesn't level that playing field. You get the same seed, there's some significant unfairness from the randomness. Average, yeah, it's never going to be perfectly the same. The same seed is the best we can do. Uh, but if you're going to say that, then we might as well not do the tournament because nothing's ever exactly the same and fair. So, you know, just might as well not do it. Why even do a tournament? It's never going to be perfectly fair. I mean, if you watch League of Legends, you never get to play the exact same characters in both lanes, so it's never fair. So why even do the tournament? I mean, seems kind of a funny thing to get hung up on. That you make different decisions and it changes the run. It's a roguelike. It's never going to be exactly the same. You can think of a number of ships that Auto Scout would say out. A number of ships Auto Scout would out, out. Okay. Uh, the tournament should have the missile mod as a prerequisite. I don't want to do that because there's too many f bombs in there. Maybe we can make a tournament uh, PG rated missile mod that only has ones that are not f bombs or something. Oh, that's an ASB that helps us actually. Hmm. ASB that helps us. Do I take that fight? Yeah, let's do that. Tournament. Uh, you're looking forward to it. You're just pointing out the seed only goes so far. Yeah, I mean, we're trying to make a competitive thing out of a roguelike game. And it's just... There's always something... There's always something that you could consider not fair or unbalanced or something, something. Um, I am going to try to use a missile here. I fucking hate this game! <laughs> it's also new. <laughs> alright, alright. Cheers to RPG Nerdos for this Fuck amazing you, mod. man! There you go, alright. Speaking of F-bombs... Hey, free repair, nice! Uh... You're sure it goes without saying, but contributions to the data should be A and enabled. Yeah, we don't... If you're not playing FTL with Advanced Edition, you're not playing full release FTL. Oh my god, my phone is blowing up from stupid spam calls. Um, I mentioned vanilla, but doesn't specify that. In my opinion, FTL without Advanced Edition enabled is the beta of FTL. So yes, Advanced Edition required. I think we need to get too um, hung up on the competition to find the best player, because that's remotely what it does. The point is to have as much fun and discussion and bring the community together while showcasing high skill players. Yeah. Uh, let's see, how do I want to do this? I guess I see more if I go down this way, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. That sounded like past Rand was singing, huh? The tourney is intended to make the commenters look like idiots when the exact opposite of what they say happens. <laughs> That's right. Ooh, nice. Delay and free stuff. Awesome. <laughs> the commentators look like idiots. Well, we don't need much help with that, probably. Except Night Eagle. We didn't know Spam knew how to use a phone. Yeah, Spam is very good at using a phone. Okay, he has a missile, so I'm going to hack the shields here. Uh, we had a hard cap on time last time. 30 minutes after the opposing player finishes. If both players go for the score farming, then the best player may win. Yeah. Holy free glaive beam. Just get a free glaive. I asked for free stuff, and that's what they give me. Okay. Uh, not only that, AE is... AE off is not the same as pre-AE. It's actually semi-broken, too. Interesting. The FBI called me today. When they asked me to confirm my name, I said Special Agent Max Rectum, and they hung up. Now you don't know where to send these Target gift cards to. <laughs> okay. Uh, weapon upgrade. All right. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. I mean, if we got a pre-igniter from the store, I might, I might use this. We could use a glade meme. 
Used to listen to cricket years ago. Okay, not sure what that means. Cricket, like the game that you play over in the UK or some other version of, like my phone is cricket, is the company cricket. Uh, you were confused for a long time because people kept saying things like flagship has three shields on hard and no connection to the missile and laser rooms. We didn't experience that. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't know anything about. I, I honestly don't think I even started playing FTL before Advanced Edition came out. So I. I don't even. I think I played on non-Advanced Edition maybe once or twice in my life. So I. I don't even know what the non-Advanced Edition has except no flax and hacking and stuff. I don't know what the boss fight is. To me, it's an unfinished version of the game, so. Yeah, hard mode didn't exist before Advanced Edition, yeah. Flax and hacking didn't, I don't think mind control existed. Like, the game just feels unfinished to me. All right, uh, no cloaking that we could have afforded. A halberd beam, explosive replicator, advanced FGL navigation, anything that makes my halberd beam not need hacking to get through shields. Not really. I said I want to use swarm missile instead of Lido, which I guess is technically an upgrade. Do I want to go ion blast to halberd beam? Not really, but should I? I could. That way I could hack weapons. I don't like it, though. Uh, the tourney is not a speedrun, even though the perception was that speed is the way to go. A score is by far more valuable if you can speedrun on hard and manage to overcome the risk, and that's a huge plus for you as a player. Okay. Setting up the one-shot build. I mean... That Halberd Glaive... I could just go double hacking double halberd and I can get that online right now, I think. Do I want that? It would delay me getting cloaking by a decent amount, potentially. What kills me right now? Boarding, I feel like. So mind control might have been the best thing to get here. I feel like getting boarded is the thing I need to be afraid of. And I don't know if anything else at this store except maybe clone bay. I feel like if I want to get an upgrade right now, what I would do is buy Swarm Missile and upgrade my weapons once. Overconfident, slow, and blah, 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 yada, 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 yeah. Double drone ships with missiles probably kills us too, potentially, yeah. I feel like I need an upgrade, but I don't want to spend a crap ton of scrap, so I think I'm going to do this. Doesn't spend too much scrap. I could potentially still afford, a clo afford cloaking if it's early next sector. Double however beam will be cool and all, but I need defenses, not offenses right now, I feel like. I need systems, basically. I wanted to clarify, because you could dig through your VODs and get data, but it's all AE disabled. I guess you have to turn on AE on again. Wow, you play only AE disabled, Tyler? Wow, that sounds really boring. <laughs> I hope it's fun for you, but it sounds really boring to me. No offense. No offense, it sounds really boring. How are you doing in training, by the way? This is one of the weaker ships we've seen. Let's see if I can use not hacking here. Damn this fucking game, man. Uh, double drone ships with missiles is probably what kills right now. I need an upgrade by Swarm, FTL, God's Scream and Pain. You are a strange individual. Well, I mean, I'm being kind of judgy, I guess, to say it sounds boring to play that way, but you know. To each their own. Advanced Edition. I've just played so much non Advanced Edition that my brain does not compute enjoying the game without flax. Trying to get a little bit of training here. I'm just gonna wait till the 
shields got repaired. Don't think I got much of the way of training though. Swarm is sort of an upgrade. It can it can get through two shields guaranteed if two shots hit, unlike Leto. That's why I got it. I got it so I can kill ships. I can kill two shield ships without having to be reliant on hacking. That's why I got Swarm Missile. Do you think the fact that the tournament encouraged required semi speed running was a good thing? If all the runs were over two hours, it wouldn't have kept things moving along as well. Yeah. What's up, Jay's Nick? Measure performance time has to be a factor, especially in FTL. I mean, that's that's probably what my copley's kind of debating is like, it's there are different skills in FTL. Being very meticulous and making the most out of every tiny situation is something that like Mike and Crow Ravel do very really, really well where time is not the limiting factor. But I think for a tournament that people are watching, I definitely think that most people agree that keeping it moving is pretty important. Oh man, uh, do we go green and have no more greens or do I go red and have all greens? Do you think speed is a bad proxy for skill? I would say that depends on what you're talking about. Because playing fast in FTL could be a skill. If you are talking about car racing, speed is kind of the only thing that matters, right? <laughs> so I guess are you clarify? I guess you're talking specifically for FTL. I don't know. I, I think there are people who can play very skilled and very fast, and that's kind of what we're trying to make be the determining factor. I'm just gonna go to the good sector now. There's a reason your strat to beat Crow involved. There's a reason your strat to beat Crow involved speed. Sadly, it didn't work. But it happy with the way it went. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going to waste two jumps to go to the store. But if it gets me cloaking, it's not a waste. Watch that not have cloaking. All right, it's not a waste. We got cloaking. Maybe I should have gotten mind control. But I just kind of instantly did that. So I think I'm okay with that. Uh, I better buy fuel, actually. Repair arm is a nerf to your ship. Ah, uh, I should have... Well, it's only a nerf when you're not full health. When you're at full health, repair arm doesn't steal any stuff, but I should have actually sold it there, but it's fine. You have two people who can win their runs in FTL. One takes 50 minutes to accomplish the same as the other in 80, and the person who does not 50 deserves to be the winner in a competitive setting, you think? Uh, are you willing to take... Three, two, in five chances at border police. I don't understand the question. Uh, you say, okay, I'm not going to get involved in this discussion right now. Um, okay, they're going to run, I think. So they're running, so I'm hacking shields. Fuck oh you. god Fuck damn it, you, I screwed game. that up. Fuck you! Okay, alright. I was hoping my shield would stay up so I wouldn't have to cloak, and then I Fuck cloaked you, after, Fuck right you, after game. cross there, which was bad skill, which was the opposite of skill. Cell repair arm, yeah, yeah, I should have. Don't take damage, no problem, I know. Eight hour runs are the niche skill in my opinion, Kappa. <laughs> That's why you don't think competition is a good reputation of ability in this game. Oh gosh. Alright. Really, Mike? I, I kinda disagree. Did you watch the last tournament? Who were the top two in our last tournament? They were Retreat, Retreat, and Hollow. And if you don't think those two are skilled at this game, I question your idea on what skill is in FTL. Because Hollow is by most people considered the best FTL player in the world, I think. I mean, beating hard mode no pause as many times as he has. I feel like he's pretty much considered the best FTL player by most people. Um... I'm putting words in your mouth. All right, sorry. All right, I'll stop. I'll stop. I will stop participating. Sorry. It's just this this conversation is having happening in my chat, so I feel like I need to participate. All right, let's do this. I'm not going to do that the second time. 
Okay. All right. It's hard for me to ignore conversations that are going on in my chat. Sorry. Um, okay, what do I want? I'm hoping to get hacking. I mean, not hacking, mind control. Would I sell? I would sell repair arm for mind control. Absolutely, I would do that. Absolutely, I would do that. Pre-igniter. There's the pre-igniter that I didn't buy. I mean, that I could have had for my lathe beam. Oh, well. Do I want to buy an NG right now? I kind of do. I wish backup battery and or mind control was at this store. I'm gonna do that. Get ourselves a silly device. Um, could have had pre-igniter, two beams, and hacking. I know, misplay. Don't even know how to play this game. Such a big misplay. Golden shield with repair arm is tanky. True, but why keep a repair arm when I can sell it and get other stuff? Getting kind of reliant on hacking even with the swarm missile here, it feels. Good dodges. Missiles are not down. Plug that. Eighty-seven percent. Jesus, man. Okay. Yeah. Well, kind of doesn't matter that I have cloaking. It feels like uh, he boarded me. That fire spread really quickly. Okay, let me go get you on doors to deal with these stupid human borders. I don't know, the whole, I, I say I'm not going to just participate in this discussion, but the whole FTL is a single player game, you can't compete in a thing, I, I just, I just disagree. I mean, why are there leaderboards for speedrunning video games? Why have people done competitions for, um, uh, Binding of Isaac? Like, I, I think people enjoy watching people who are very skilled match up against other people. So that's the kind of the point of our tournament. All right, what do I want to do next? I want to get power and dodge, so I will do that. Well, you can sell there. Why keep a repair on when you can sell? That's good enough for you. <laughs> Pre-gunner is kind of wasted with all the beams anyway, since you need to wait for hat shield hack to drain shields. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. I feel like pre-igniter with double beam build is kind of going two different directions with your build. Many events at the Olympics are single player games. Yeah, I guess like rifle shooting or something target stuff is single player. They're just seeing who can do it fastest, most accurately. It's kind of a similar thing that we're doing, I guess. Um, I'm gonna try to not hack here actually. Uh, okay, let's see here. Let's see cloak so that this doesn't hit the floor. Right there. God Go damn fuck this fucking shit. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, past Rand. Wow. All right, we are... We can keep our shields up if I just do this. Okay, good. Uh, Britnoth, you say that, but the two best players reached the final in our tournament. Like, I, I think that's a pretty good argument that the tournament was fairly fairly well put together that the two last the, the two finalists I mean I don't know how well retreat retreat plays in real life because I don't watch other people's streams but I know hollow's insane and apparently retreat retreat has a bunch of score farming records I think the main thing you could say about our last tournament was that it maybe did reward score farming too much Uh, Spelunky is a mostly single-player game. One of the most competitive scenes for challenges and speedruns you've seen. Oh, that's true. Hollow 
versus Retreat was a semi-final. Was it? Who was the final? It was Retreat versus something. I forget. Was it Billy? I don't remember. It's been a while since I've watched the tournament, so my bad. I don't, I'm not remembering everything. Uh, it was Necro Rebel. Okay. Why did I do this? Now I'm going to have to triple. I meant to get shields. Well, you can tell people have very strong opinions about all this, so that's good, I guess. <laughs> Fuck, 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 fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Wow. Fuck you. Wow. Fucking dodges, you wow. Fucking Holy. Swarm Missile has many F-bombs. Swarm Missile is a very F-bomb filled bomb, apparently. <laughs> it's just F, 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 F. Okay. <laughs> Swarm F's bomb. Swarm purchase is now allowed. I watch FTL says. <laughs> it's just... It's a swarm of F-bombs. It's not a swarm missile, it's a swarm F-bomb. That's what it is. Uh... Well, Mike, if that's your opinion, you should, uh, I don't know, create your own... I don't know, is there is there a competitive scene for FTL for people who play? What, what's your highest thing of skill? If it's not speed and score, what is it? I don't, I don't know what your opinion on best FTL skill is. Win rate is your thing. Okay, all right. Uh, I don't want to dive for store. I could. I don't think I want to, though. Uncharted Nebula, huh? Okay. Sleeping Dragon and Mike think it's consistency and win rate, but the only way to meaningfully compare those two would be for the tournaments to be very, very long. Yes. Uh, yeah, Kasalian argues that you have to win your run to even be in the running, so win rate does get measured is a factor. Yeah. Uh, thank you for the follow, Master Pilot wash? What a name. Alright, um... Alright, I'm gonna hack the shields here. I really would like to not have the swarm missile. So I can, you know, flack them. There's a death by a thousand fucking okay. missiles, man. Uh, it's no monster character from the show Firefly. Master Pilot Wash, huh? Okay, cool. I've only watched, like, a couple episodes of that show. But I know it's huge cult, cl cult classic. Cult classic. Necro died in the grand final because he played too fast and lost point. Yeah. Uh, being able to play quickly, score highly, and win is a different set of skills than what you would want to cultivate for the strictly best play. Yeah, that's probably true. If what you think best play is, is winning consistently. Which there's definitely a good argument for that being the way to best play FTL. But I guess the other thing you got to consider when you're creating a tournament, which is what a lot of this is talking about, is that we're not just trying to figure out who the best player is. We're also trying to do something that's fun and entertaining to watch. And, you know... Making it semi-competitive while doing that is can be a challenge. We're kind of balancing competitiveness with um, entertainment value might be the best way to say it. Well, attack the weapons. Okay, well, I don't need to dodge if he's just got a heavy eye on, so let's do that. Uh, Alan Tudyk is the man in that show. Okay. Um, 
Still incredibly good and satisfying to play to watch. With keeping the audience awake, yeah. Uh, what do I have hacked? I have weapons hacked, okay. Fifth limitations of format without trying to pretend it achieves things that it evidently does not. Okay. Come on, it's you and Dodge. Good. Still, did still use a drone part there. Not ideal, that's fine. Do I go back this way to check for store? I am still looking for mind control, so yes, I do want to go this way. Yeah, I think I think people are just kind of taking offense, Mike, of your words, saying it's pretending to do something. I mean, if it's the only tournament for FTL in the world, calling somebody the champion of the FTL tournament doesn't seem like it's pretending to do anything. I don't know if we called the champion the best FTL in the world player in the world, but maybe I have said that, which maybe I shouldn't say that. Chorus of brands every time swarm fires, yeah. Um, I will use another missile here. Maybe I don't. Oh, come on, uh, man. These the fuck? <laughs> Alright, this swarm missile really is the. Really is the uh, curse missile. New name for swarm missile is the curse missile. Hey, free long range scanners that I already have. Okay, thanks for the bonus scrap. I like that. Okay, no store here. Uh, I am the champion of the FTL Grand Slam tournament. I beat the game with at least two ships. You are the champion. Uh, well. <laughs> All right. Wow, the famous ion plus missile build. So OP. Damn, I don't want to keep using my drone parts. I think I need to. I'm going to do that. Just keep my man, zone shield up longer. Dodges. Okay, missile did go down. Uh, and then it came immediately back God, up. Damn damn this this game. <laughs> Come on, Pass Ran. Goodness. Oh my god. Such a. Such a foul mouth person. That was three drone parts, I'd take it. Extra, extra super duper long distance range scanners. See all the way to the flagship. I would, I would buy that. I would buy that augment. 100% I would buy that. Need to get a firebomb sound clip? You think it's our biggest hole? <laughs> uh. It's like the World Series of Poker, you're a champ, maybe not the best of all time necessarily, but you do have some skill, yeah. Uh, that's what tournaments are for, prove your best, you have to take on the champion of the previous one kind of thing, yeah. Well, I, I have a feeling in the next tournament, Retreat Retreat would be the, the person to beat, but... I also don't know what the score rules that we're going to change are going to necessarily be. So I guess it'll depend on how that goes. What changes are made to the scoring. Uh, I'm going to use a missile. I don't want to have a chance of taking damage. Alright, have I, have I seen every jump so far? I have, and I don't think I've seen a store this sector yet. I am banking so much scrap. I want to stop banking so much scrap. I feel like I'm going to die right now because I'm getting super cocky. Oh, the voice of Firebob. <laughs> Where's Firebob? Man, I love that guy, Firebob. Do I... Hmm, I want to not hack here if I can avoid it. God you should have zero goddamn dodges. Fuck fuck you. You. Give me some fucking dodges, you shitty piece <laughs> of shit game. 
Oh man, I'm so embarrassed. I'm laughing in embarrassment. That's why I'm laughing. I'm laughing in embarrassment of how much fast ran cursed. I'm just <laughs> so many, so many f bombs. Why do I even play this game when I curse this this hard at this game? I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, jeez. <laughs> Freaking swarm missile, man. Oh, jeez. And to think people thought it was a bad idea to buy the swarm missile. <laughs> it wasn't a good idea for winning. Only a good idea for raging at FTL entertainment value, I guess. We should get swarm missile every run. <laughs> uh... The question is, what do you want the scoring system to do? The scoring system will affect how you play the run, which then affects the stats you want to look at to judge a scoring system. Yeah, yeah. That is kind of the TLDR. Uh, so half power. Half power, half power. We still have 22 missiles, so we can use it a lot this run. Sometimes, Rand, we say things when we get upset. Okay, thanks, Mom. <laughs> Explain why I'm cursing so much. Uh, what do I, what do I want to do here? Oh, this. Sounds like you're explaining to me where babies come from. And in this case, babies being... I fucking hate this Good game! Job, me cursing. The, the amount of cursing that I do. Where do babies come from, and why does Rand curse so much? Well, you see, honey, when we play video games that make us angry, sometimes we th say things we don't mean. But he is running. I might have to end up what hacking. The hell? Okay. Um. Oh crap. Take the deal. Just take it. I don't want to list, miss out on scrap. I almost I almost missed out on any amount of scrap there. Pastran having a field day this run. So much screen time. We mean everything Pastran says. <laughs> Damn, I was really hoping my store wouldn't be there. That means I gotta do some backtracking. One, two, three, four. This is the worst place the store could have been, I guess, besides this dead end here. Alright, we'll get my controller back at battery's worth. Okay, let's get both. Uh, hold on a sec. Is there a weapon here? Yeah. I don't think they're weapons I care about that much, though. I'm gonna buy all the drone parts. Guess I could get firebomb for phase one crew killing, I guess? You cannot fully turn off the mom thoughts. Sorry, Rand. No worries, Jason. No worries. Just the best weapon in the game. What about Fire Beam, though? What about Fire Beam? Hmm. I don't think I want to spend scrap on a Firebomb, even though crew killing is good. Why not both? Hmm. What do I want to do here? What do I want to do? I did nothing. I kind of want to do nothing. Yeah, we're only in sector. F well, we're in sector five. Two more sectors to find other weapons I'd want. Subscribing. Oh, I don't know if I actually want to do that, but I did it. Crumpet Commander, thank you for the prime sub. Three months, appreciate that. All right. Yay for shield the ship. Don't have to spend missiles or drone parts, hopefully. Peer pressure pays off again. Well done, team. Well done. Well, it's it's less peer pressure and more that I didn't want to do nothing. Which, maybe that's peer pressure. I don't know. I didn't want to do nothing at that store. I mean... I didn't do nothing because I got bought my control and cloaking, but I mean my control and backup battery. Oh man, these fucking dodges. But I didn't want to get zero upgrades. 
You know what? This is a pretty good dive. One, two, three. Especially if that's a ship fight. It's a nebula dive. Yeah, yeah, let's let's do it. Let's do this as well. If I can actually have 100% dodge. 97% dodge when we cloak. How's our pilot doing, by the way? Two more dodges. Nice. Iron Bomb there, giving the Zeltan Shield the finger, yeah. Alright, do I want to hack this? Yes, I do. I go for a crew kill here. Things go well. Put mind control and backup battery. I mean backup battery. Fire firebomb. I don't want to use too many missiles to go for it though. Look at that, look at that firebomb value, everybody. So much value. It might actually just get us crew kill, so instant value, I guess. And that should be the crew kill. There you go. Oh, he got out! Where is he? Is he in the weapons room? Okay. Hi. <laughs> Made me use one more missile. Holy free heavy laser, okay. Uh, Rebel Stronghold or Force Lenya 6? Tune in after the dive to find the answer. Okay. Well, alright, that was pretty insane. Instant firebomb value, getting, our, getting ourselves a free heavy laser reward. That's pretty amazing. That is really good. Want to upgrade to be able to use that with my swarm missile, potentially? Never doubt the power up to firebomb. What else am I trying to save up for? Flax or something? We're not seeing a store for a while, so sure. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. We do have lots of missiles somehow. Oh no, a Vulcan, so anyway. Alright, so the plan is to not use any drone parts this fight. What the heck? Oh, God damn you shitty wow. game. Okay. That's a lot of dodges, but that's fine. That's fine. That was 66% of my swarm missile do doge, bro. Value point and shields, not surprising in sector five, six, I think we're five. Six fuel four missiles, nah. Nah. Trying to use zero more missiles as well. Alright, fine. Finish him. Welcome's back online. Imagine if beam weapons could trigger the cursing sound effects for every room it damages. <laughs> Not just every room, what about every tile it damages? Then it would just be non-stop cursing. That ship was heavy weapons guy and that was his weapon, okay. It's a, what, TF2 reference, I guess? Alright. Well, it got a little quiet after that um, scoring discussion. Everybody always gets really heated about <laughs> the tournament scoring discussion, I guess. Oh, it's gonna be hype. It's gonna be hype. Whatever the scoring system is, it's gonna be a good time.
I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I don't even have to dive, but an extra ship fight for a nebula beacon dive, I think is worth the cloaking and hacking. And if I can, especially if I get level three hacking after this fight. Oh, missile and hacking. Okay. Hack the shield, so. Frickin' Neo over here. Frickin' Neo! Nice. Um... How did you dodge no everything? To that shit. What? <laughs> no fucking counterplay to that. I agree, Pass Ran. There's no counterplay to... Dodging all of my crap is probably what Pass Ran said. No counterplay to that. Darn. Although that is enough for level 3 hacking. But do I actually want to get level 3 hacking going into the dive with... Um, cloaking his old shield? I feel like I don't need it. Famous last words, maybe? Ah, should be fine. There's no counterplay to the swear missile. <laughs> That's right. No counterplay to the swear missile. This guy's got a Vulcan I won't even need to hack. Holy crap, we're, we're hacking that, though. We are absolutely hacking that. Man, can I have two out of three of your weapons, please? Wish I'm gonna turn on firebomb here. Because holy shnikes, what a build. What a weapon build. Fuck God you, damn this FTL. fucking game, man. <laughs> the swear missile strikes again. Oh, he dodged. Okay. Oh, we're already done. Okay, let's get out of here. All right, Forced Rebel. Thankfully not Forced Abandoned 6. I know. Tell us how you really feel, Pass Ran. Run looks good. Well, it is a Zoltan A. It is a Zoltan A run. And Zoltan A is a really good ship. Okay, that's a dead end. That's a Pulsar. I don't want to do a Pulsar Rebel Disruptor fight, so I just hope my one store is not there. The run sounds good. True, true. <laughs> this run is filled with positive emotions. Just not from past Rand, you know. Past Rand is not filled with positive emotions. Past Rand is never filled with positive emotions. Why is not Past Rand ever say nice things? That's what I want to know. Come on, Pass Rand. You need to you need to go to anger management class. Your streak just got deleted by jump one shield hack. Oh god, sleeping dragon. That sucks. That was the one thing I told Kasalian we need to for the last tournament is we need to have a a rule for sector one shield hacks. Sector one um shield hack event. Because to me, that's the that is that is the number one most unfair thing in the game. Uh, jump one shield hack event, auto hacker versus laser two mini beam. The hacked your weapons. Wow, and hit your weapons twice on its first volley. Jesus, that's just just the dumbest dumbest crap right there. All right, you know what? Maybe I do go to the pulsar. I don't. It's actually the best way to go here. I'm gonna get hacking three for that. We have Zeltan shield. That thing. You just got the manpower achievement. Nice, scratch. Why does it gotta be manpower? Why not woman power? Uh, do you wanna hack your weapons? Yeah, we do. We might get thwarted, but it's fine. Okay, uh, I'm just going to do this. No fucking counterplay to that shit. <laughs> there is no counterplay to Swarm Missile. Get wrecked. That's a really good deal, I by the way. I fucking hate this game. 
<laughs> why are you still why are you still cursing, man? You won the fight. I mean pass Rand. <laughs> swarm missile. Uh swarm missile's ridiculous. It just keeps going. <laughs> the fight's over. It just keeps going. Uh Okay. Uh is it worse than Disruptor and Asteroids the combat drone double heavy one though? Uh, you mean Sector 1 Shield Hack event, or do you mean Disruptor and a Pulsar? I'm not sure what you're asking, Mike. Wasn't there also a case where we had to restart run because of Sector 1 shenanigans? There might have been, where both players died to some crazy event or something. I know, Swear Missile is relentless. So you're asking, is Shield Hack worse than Disruptor and Shield Asteroid with Combat Drone Double Heavy 1? Probably not. But I feel like what you're saying, Disruptor... In Asteroids, Comet Drone Double Heavy 1 is less likely to happen than Sector 1 Shield Hack. This isn't Sector 1 Shield Hack decently common. I feel like that very specific thing you're talking about is less common. Alright. Um, and that's the reason I wanted to make a deal of that. I feel like it's more common to... Have yeah, the second one shield hack and then the other thing. God damn this fucking game, man. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh. Um. It's in my experience, I think I see sector one shield hack more than I see a sector one asteroid with combat drone double heavy laser. That's the minimum. Fuel offer. No, even though I really need fuel, I'm going to turn down minimum offer. Please give me fuel anyway, damn. Shield hack on its own is relatively survival, but in combination with other things, it can get really out of hand. In your case, the free shield hack and the real weapon hack. Shield hack is not that common, does not represent a major percentage of Sector 1 losses, you don't think? Hmm, okay. Alright. Um, man, I kind of need my store. We're running out of fuel here. Number 54 scrap. Get level 2 piloting because we get manly search, even though we don't have a rebel uh, nebula this sector. Um,. What's up, RPG Nerdos? Yes, we've been enjoying the new missile mod today. We we bought the Swarm Missile, also known as the Swear Missile. 13 for sensors? Great deal. But I didn't know great sensors level two. Uh Shield Hack Sector 1 is just such a horrid event, it traumatizes everyone. Well, I feel like I don't know. Mike says it's not a major percentage of Sector 1 losses. But what I would argue is the percentage of times when that shield hack appears is a higher percentage of losses than other events that you run into Sector 1. Even if it's rarer. I don't know, maybe I'm just traumatized by Sector 1 shield hack. But I just, to me it feels like one of the biggest contributors when you hit it. I don't know, maybe, maybe, I'm, maybe, maybe not. Maybe you're right. You prefer no line. Your dip, your point is it's difficult where to draw the line. You think it's better not to draw any line. You don't find shield hack that common. You think it's just confirmation bias. Maybe I am. Maybe I was. I guess my deal with it was when you're using the same seed but you just make a different choice about which jump you go to, and one person gets the shield hack event and another person doesn't. I guess I guess you could argue where do you draw the line, but... Well, there's my store that I can't get to. So, I don't know. Why, why talk about that one event instead of just any fight that feels unfair? That's the same with any horrible sector one jump. I guess so. I guess so. Um, 
It just, to me, it feels worse than any other Sector 1 event unless you are playing specifically, you know, Stealth B and get an, any auto scout with a beam drone or something. I don't know. I'm gonna hope I get fuel, I guess, from this. Okay, well, we're definitely attacking. This is a fuel station. It's a small rubble uh, storage vessel for mess military goods. Please tell me that military goods includes fuel. Please tell me. Because I would really like to not run out of fuel. This guy isn't actually running. Okay. Now he really is not running. What did I cloak? I don't know what I cloaked. A bomb? I don't know. Jesus Christ, give me some fucking dodges. Holy shit. Fuck FTL. I, I don't missile. know why you don't want to have friends. Military supplies does not include any goddamn fuel, apparently. Wow. Yeah, I guess when you're in the military, you don't need fuel to move your ships around or anything, right, FTL? I guess you don't need fuel to power your ships or anything. Great. We are fuelless again. Jesus Christ. Ideally, you'd want to make sure for a tournament that you scan every single seed to make sure there are no highly possible RNG deaths within, say, five or six jumps from the empty entry beacon. Firstly, you wish FTL has this fire style easy pool fights. You need to completely change sector generation to do that. Yeah. Uh, FTL has no difficulty adjustment for your first few jumps like some rogue legs have been doing. You agree that if you're playing a non-stealth, non-Zoltan, non-Mantis B, and you do hit it, it's probably the deadliest Sector 1 event. Or Sector 1 is just difficult if you get bad early Sector seeds, yeah. Ah, oh, damn it. Cool. You explore. There's nothing of interest. Cool. Yes, I will gladly trade. Not really gladly, but I will at least trade. What a shitty sector this was. Our one store was behind the exit beacon, and we got no fuel from about, I don't know, four or five goddamn jumps. Fucking game, man. Still in good shape, though. Counter argument to excluding it is that it's notorious to generate, so generate some broadcast excitement. Yeah, but if that excitement becomes one person hit the sh sector one shield hack and dies, and the other person just gets the sector two and automatically wins, then they win in like ten minutes. And I don't know about you, that doesn't feel very competitive to me. That sounds like well, one person rolled a nat one, the other person rolled a nat twenty. One person. Hollow, who rolled a nat one and couldn't win, now is out of the tournament. I just, I don't know, it feels... Yeah, I could dive at the store and I'll have to think about it. It just doesn't feel fun or competitive to me to have somebody go out that way. But I mean, it is an RNG game, so I guess the argument is somebody rolled bad and... Doesn't matter how good they are if they roll bad. Or as... People probably like to say, better lucky than good. <laughs> Man, what the actual shit. fuck? All right, well, I guess I am gonna have to do this. Well, maybe I don't have to do that. There we go. Uh, one player takes a jump that gives him free pre ignited, the other doesn't. Pretty significant bit of RNG, too. True. True, but the difference between those two is that one doesn't instantly kill the player. The other just gives a significant advantage. I guess you could argue if the player's good enough, maybe they can outplay the uh, Sector 1 shield hack, but if it's on the first jump and it's on certain ships, there's no outplaying that BS, as to quote past Rand. No outplaying that. If you want to deal with that problem, you have to rewrite Sector 1 RNG entirely. Well, I don't think you do, because my... I think what we went, the the thing that we did is that we gave, we gave the option to the players in each head-to-head -to, -head 
if they wanted to reset based on sector one. I think we gave the option and I felt like that was like the fairest way we could do it to make it so that sector one doesn't just insta-kill somebody. Because somebody insta-dies and the other person doesn't, then they would choose to reset. Which you'd say, well, the person who didn't insta-die got screwed, but like most people who've played FTL knows that sometimes there's something in sector one that you can't outplay, so would want to have the option for themselves be able to reset if something bad happens. And I think that's what we did last time. Am I going to dive for this? How badly do I want the store? Um, that applies just as much as shield hack as anything else. Well, and I, th I can't remember if we made the rule be only for shield hack. I think we maybe made the rule. I can't remember. I honestly can't remember. Dive for two extra jumps, one of them being a store. I also kind of need crew pretty bad. I could buy fuel. All right, let's dive. Sailing to sector one entirely. So we gave we gave the players the choice to reset the sector one. Is that what we did? I feel like it was something like that that we did. I just don't remember the exact details. It's been like two or three years, hasn't it? Fuel hack first jump isn't unusually isn't usually fatal unless it's with specific ships. Well, and that's the thing, because it depends on what... The, the seeds were... I chose the seeds by just randomly typing in numbers and then did at least the seeds, and that was our seed for our players. Nobody knew it besides me before, and I didn't test it. It was just a bunch of random numbers, so nobody could crack the seeds. And then we did a pick-ban system for the ships. One player could ban one, another could ban the other, and then they played whichever they didn't, you know, ban. And then... Uh, and then we gave the option to do a reset in Sector 1 if something really bad happened. I think that's what we did. Sector 1 death equals restart. Another Sector 1 death was the, had the opponent chooses whether to restart again. Is that what it is? Yeah. Sounds about right. Um, I'm thinking of buying a human right now. I just need crew, but I want cheap crew. Nah, let's buy the rock. Let's buy the rock. That sounds pretty fair. Good job, past us. My one drone part. Uh, they want to get anything else before diving? Level two hack. I mean, level two cloak or level five engines? Nah, I think I'm just gonna go. One player gets shield too, another buys a weapon, and then they hit the shield hack event. Are they resetting the seed? Um. I don't know. Cassalian just said the the options that we did. Sector one death equals restart. Another sector one death was that the opponent gets to choose whether to restart or not. Okay. If you really specifically worry about the shield hack, you can strictly mod the game to remove it. Yeah, I guess that is something we could consider. Just remove that event. Get a modder who knows what they're doing to do that. I don't God fucking God damn, damn it, game. Fucking what the game. actual fuck? Dodges I don't know if I like that because if, unless you could only if you could do it specifically for sector one, because I don't mind it in later sectors when you've had the chance to build your ship. It's still a crappy event. It's just specifically in sector one, and I don't know if you can specifically only remove that event from sector one without removing it from later civilian sectors. I don't know modding well enough to know if that's possible. Maybe it is, but I don't know. Uh, engine controlled or uncharted. Do I care about stores? I could get weapons. I have long range scanners for the uncharted nebula. I only have six fuel though. Let's go, NG. Because of my low fuel. You'd be Let picking feds C every time. Come on, man. <laughs> As we jump away. Um, uh, picks were done by the casters and the guest. Yeah, I think. I think the picks we gave we gave the players the choice of three ships and each each player had one ban, I think. I think that's how we did it. And it was random who got the first ban. I think that's what we did. If you have a second one reset rule, there's not a great deal I need to do all that. That's kinda what I figure. Like I don't think we need to do crazy mods to get rid of one event when we have the reset rule. That's I feel like that dealt with the issue decently well. I mean, we only had one, I think, Sector 1 horrible reset, if what Cassalian is saying 
earlier is uh, correct. I, again, I forget a lot of the details because it's been a while. I need fuel, but I need more scrap more, so no deal. He's gonna get Off using this old. This game. Uh, shield hack could be survived, and we intended to keep the game as vanilla as possible. Yeah, and the thing is, if if the the shield hack does happen and they do it well. One person plays it well, the other one doesn't. No, then that's a show of skill too, you know. So, I think I think giving the option to the players was probably the best way to make it work. Uh, the event isn't that deadly. You'd rather avoid first jump asteroid versus auto assaults, which is the one Mike Copley referenced earlier. Later rounds, after first round, the person with a higher tourney rating had the choice whether to ban first or second. Oh, okay, so we gave we gave a. We gave an advantage to the person with a higher score on the previous round, so like they were higher seated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's almost like we really thought it out <laughs> and tried to make it like a real competitive tournament or something. It's almost like we did that. It's almost like that. Go fuck yourself, you shitty piece of shit. <laughs> Not just a piece of shiznizzle, it's a shiznizzle piss of shiznizzle. Uh, I probably could crew kill this, but meh. Who cares? They have all the dodges. They have all the dodges, they do. Hey, we got some fuel. Uh, your shield one hack death you just had was because it was a jump one shield hack versus a ridiculously stacked ship, and that ship had a pretty decent chance to kill you even without the free shield hack. General, though, on your rule that says you can reset the sector one BS, tend to reward players who make riskier plays because they can delay shields and hoard for a weapon. Um, well, that depends on how we do the rule. Because I don't... I forget exactly how we did the rule. I don't think we said that anybody could just treat... Uh, I don't know. I don't remember the exact rule, to be honest. Bonus points if they encounter the shield hack event and survive. Jizz, whizzle, piz, nizzle, shizzle, snizzle. That's right. Did we just give one free reset, or did we have to say both had to agree to it? I don't I don't remember the exact rule. I just... I don't remember. My brain. You know, I'm old. I'm old and my brain doesn't work. Remember, remember what we talked about earlier? Dementia and stuff. Um... Remembering is hard, it is. Especially when I'm trying to have a conversation and play video games at the same time. It's really hard. Save the... I'm gonna do the edgy. I'd like free crew. Is that our first free crew this run? I bought one rock. No, I did take one rock from a free event. I think I bought NG and another rock. So... One free restart per player per round is equally available to both players. Is that how it was? Okay. Just a consequence that it rewards you playing a little more risky. I guess that's true. I would like a free mantis. Nice. Come on. Oh, my micro is so bad right now. Couldn't, couldn't aim my damn weapon. Okay. It's alright. Obviously, if you hear that your opponent died twice because they take risks, you are entitled to a free point. Ow! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, like, I like that owl one. The owl one might be my favorite one. <laughs> that might be my favorite new one. Ow! <laughs> yeah, I guess it's kind of like it's kind of like tennis, right? You have one free fault on your serve, so you try to do your biggest, baddest serve your first time, but if you fail the second time, you just lose the point. So I, yeah, yeah, I guess that makes sense. It basically encourages you to play super risky the first time. And then if you get punished, then you need to play a little safer the second time, maybe. Yeah, uh, new missile mod. 
Uh, RPG updated the missile mod recently, and it's, as usual, amazing. Pastor Ann needs a plaster. All right, what was I hoping for? Weapons, I guess. I guess I take a burst laser one instead of swarm missile now. Do I? Do I? I mean... Got all these mid-tier weapons. Although heavy laser one's great. I guess I could just go... Halberd heavy... Heavy... Firebomb. Sell the swarm missile now. Because how much power to get? One more weapon. It's pretty cheap to get one more weapon. I feel like it'd be really expensive to get two more weapon power. Some of your favorite moments of the tournament were when players use their privilege to allow the opponent to reset after horrible RNG. Yeah. But swear missile, I know, right? But swear missile. It's done a good job. It's been it's been good. Thanks for all the hard work, swear missile. I just I need to decide of which of these two. The question is, do I want to spend 190 to get weapons online, or just 90 and then spend my scrap elsewhere? I'm in Sector 7, right? And I'm halfway through. We do have another store, though. All right, let's buy the cheap one, check the other score, and if there's a flak, I might change my other upgrades here. All right, no flak. How much fuel to get out of this sector? Seven. One drone part. One, up, one up, weapon upgrade, one power. We can do all of this. We have the option to fire bomb our enemies, and now I can do things like fifth shield, I mean, fifth, fifth engine, fourth shield, value points, whatever else we want to do, and I don't have to spend too much more on, or any more on weapons, most likely. So, six, five, four, three, two, one. Uh, players use a privilege to allow the opponent a reset after horrible on G. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it meant that we had some pretty, um, you know, gracious people playing that weren't super cutthroat that, you know, it's good. It's, it's always nice to see good sportsmanship. It's always nice to see that. It's like seeing the... You know, the person at the Olympics who their dad helped them across the finish line or whatever, you know? It's always good to see that kind of thing. Alright, do I care about crew killing? Yeah, I'm just gonna dodge it. No thanks. Why not both? Both swear missile and firebomb. Eh, too expensive. Too expensive. Uh, I swear we should use this weapon more often. <laughs> Exactly, it's a good community moment. Yeah, for sure. I agree. Um, I don't know if we're getting another store, but let's do that. And that's the last upgrade I, like, need for the boss fight. So let's save scrap here. Actually, I'm going to swap you guys around here. I mean, I meant burst and heavy, but swarm firebomb works too. Okay, that's what you meant. Okay. Yeah, basically, if I bought more than one weapon there, or kept weapons in... I just... Even though I know Farb does it, and I've started to do a little more often, I don't actually like keeping weapons in my cargo, because it feels like missed opportunity of scrap gains. So I don't like having the extra weapon just lying around. Good sportsmanship doesn't really match the theme of FTL, though. True. <laughs> it's true, actually. Sad, but true. So, in spite of subset games, the players actually have some sportsmanship. In spite of all the... all that they've done to be as mean and horrible as possible. All right, they do have a clone base, but I probably don't actually crew kill this. But maybe we can. Sportsmanship in spite of all... All Seb Set tried to do. 
Well, damn. All right. If that was a level one or two clone there, we might have been able to do it. Probably not with an NG repairing, but... Was the tournament on Twitch? Yes, it was on my channel for most of the tournament, and then on the Irie, Irie Legacy channel for one of the uh, one of the rounds. I forgot that I had this guy here, actually. I don't know what the plan is this year. I wouldn't mind if it was on Irie Legacy's channel all the time, but we might go back and forth and get that ironed out better this year, I don't know. Or this, this next turn, whenever it happens. Brit Noth would enjoy a war crimes themed competition. Show all the pirates how to intimidate settlers. <laughs> we thought I was Farb. Yeah. We are twinsies. We are twinsies. I don't need that. Permanent score should be determined by who pays off the mafia the best. <laughs> Who's best at, uh, what is it called? Pay and protection money. Uh, I think I need level 2 heal bay for this either way. Well, that quest was not great. Longest ran sub gets extra points. Yeah, totally. Totally not playing favorites there. I'll sell 10. Uh, give bonus points in the tournament for odd builds. Plus 50 points per anti-bio beam equipped during a boss phase. <laughs> I honestly wonder with like how much better Hollow has become at like doing speed run streaks. I wonder if he will even like, depending on what our scoring thing, if he will even be beatable. I feel like Hollow just keeps getting crazy better with how how I hear the the. Uh, challenges he's, he's done in the last couple of years. Um, would I buy a flak? Who am I kidding? I'd always buy a flak. Plus 200 points if he's an ion shooter against the boss. I'll always buy a flak, I said. All right. What I will, what that means is I will buy the flak and I will not do a weapon upgrade, and I'll swap out Halber Beam for Flak Phase 1, because Flak Heavy Heavy Firebomb will be really good for True Kills Phase 1. When Hollow practiced for the tournament, he had at least one very, very high score. Yeah. That's why I always I thought he was pretty much a shoe in to win, but then I guess... What was it? In, uh, in the semifinals, he got really bad luck or something? Do I want value points more than I want fourth shield? The Zoltan shield, I feel like I don't need fourth shield quite as much. Let's at least get the O2 value. Because that getting hacked sector one is super annoying. Plus 500 points for effectively using a repair bomb. 150 points for getting a Zoltan shield and then selling it. <laughs> Alright, this is a not enough time, so... Guy's got effectively five shields here. What the hell? Okay. Right, should be a pretty easy crew kill with a firebomb on our bar. Although he does have a repair drone, not ideal. Build drone control so the repair drone doesn't do anything? Good. Oh, god damn it. Okay. No repairs allowed, sir. Right, use a couple extra missiles, but at least we countered the not enough time. We've got two missiles back. Beautiful. Um. I believe we had Hollow and Necro as number one and number two seeds, re respectively. If Retreat didn't go against the grain with a score farming, Hollow would have likely ended up in the finals as well, you think? <laughs> the effectively should be made into a separate mod. Yes, yes. You still remember that one. I'm trying to outlive that one. <laughs> Outrun the effectively. Let's see how much scrap we get before I see if I get four shield or not. I have a feeling if I practice for their tournament, I'm going to have a hard time because... Like, it's really hard for me to not read chat, and I feel like to really 
play in the tournament style well, you just have to not read chat. You have to be super focused. I feel like that would be really hard for me. <laughs> hard it is for me to not read chat. It's a marvelous word inventing moment. That's how languages start. <laughs> okay. Plus 300 points for not using hacking, plus 750 points for using neither hacking nor cloaking. Goodness. Sounds like a very different, difficult tournament you all are designing over here. <laughs> Could get the fourth shield, probably a little bit of power after the next jump. Let's see what we end up with after this next jump here. Gruel from Mean Girls, it happens. What is that? Is that a word invented in Mean Girls or something? Ah, uh, I hate it. I hate that. I hate that crap. There it is. I've used one extra drone part. It's fine. And he hacked my goddamn. There it is. That right there is the reason. Um, Britnot says the Zoltan Shield is bad. The delay weapon hack right there. That happens on the boss fight. That'll be a real pain in the ass, but that's fine. Let's buy some time here. Okay. Vulcan is down. At least don't care about crew kill. This is not a not not enough time, thankfully. Gruel is a real word. Uh, what about points for scrap recovery arm? Gruel is a low quality food. Yes. Have you seen Hollow's latest no having no hacking streak? It would only play in his favor to do a no hacking run, huh? All right, here we go. What do I want to do? Do I want to get fourth shield or do I want to get a whole bunch of value points? I usually lean towards value points. I wouldn't have cloaking in my control. If I do this, I get every value point. I just really like this better. You can buy an extra power to have in, uh, like, my controller heal bay or something. All right, I prefer this. And so for the boss, phase one, we want this. So we're crew killing all but one crew is the plan. Hope he does not delay hack our weapons. That's the biggest annoyance. I prefer Krusty Brand Imitation Gruel. 9 out of 10 orphans can't tell the difference. <laughs> That's great. Is that a Simpsons reference? Wow, the triple hit. Ah, fuck you, FTL. The delayed weapon hack. The bullshit of bullshits on boss fight. And there you go. There's... I, that's why I kind of purposely let the first triple missile hit in case we get that BS. One of your favorite episodes, huh? Okay, nice. Alright. One damage to reset the fight. I don't think I can jump again if that happens again, though. Maybe I'll cloak the first missile just to make sure that doesn't happen again. Oh, I don't even need to go. Sensor is beautiful. Okay, that is great. Only room I need to see in is this one. I didn't hit his missiles, damn. Damn, he dodged the missile shot. But I didn't cloak, so we're How fine. How did you dodge after that nice. zero goddamn what? dodge with this ship? Oh, there's nobody hanging out in that room. Uh, dudes? Uh, 
Um. Damn, they all walked out. Uh, I should hit the heal bay. Okay, we're getting some pretty good crew kills, though. Poke the ion. Okay, let's see where you're gonna go. To your death, hopefully. Oh, come on! Nobody on piling and the dodges. Okay. Only need one more crew kill. One more crew kill. Yeah, that's freaking hack. Okay. Did they both get in here? I was hoping one of them. Perfect. Finish him. All right, perfect phase one, except for that one restart with a weapon hack where we took one damage. Very, 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 very nice. Very, very, very nice. Weapon is too good. Firebomb, am I right? I know, firebomb, right? Or heavy laser, chef's kiss. I mean, firebomb and heavy laser. That's some good crew killing right there. That is some good crew killing. Yeah, heavy laser, so good. All right, can I do anything with 35 scrap? I can get a power that I don't need, really. So maybe I'll get another value point. Uh, actually, I might even be able to get a little bit more scrap here. Let's see. There are a lot of shield drones in this sector. Didn't do the best swipe there. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, we got a repair. We got one repair. Thanks for not giving me gratitude, bro. Appreciate that. Okay. Uh, 76 scrap. I could get doors or piling... Get piloting in case they board my piloting phase three of the boss, I guess. And we can mind control the pilot. Zero missiles, that is good. Oh, but it doesn't matter because we... Apparently the lasers plus the drones is just enough to get through my damn shields. Freaking hell, man, I swear. I swear I get zero dodges. Get no respect and no dodges. Alright, one damage, that's fine. No dodges, phase one, man. No dodges. I mean, phase two. Yeah, 45% chance of dodge. Should be 0% chance of dodge. Should be. I probably dodged a lot of shots. I just like to complain. Um, swiggity swaggity sensors. Let's go. Zoltan A, one of the few ships where we can actually sometimes get swiggity swaggity sensors. And it's, you know, not going to make us that much weaker. So we shouldn't be able to board with anybody. We have delayed mind control. We don't cluck his first missile. Zoltan Shield will hopefully protect us from that. I pressed the wrong button. Okay. Pie Boy approves with the swag sensors. Nice. Pie Boy, Pie Boy approval is one of my main goals. Now you need to be a good doge. You need to stop being a bad doge. <laughs> 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 That's amazing. That is amazing. That's a new one. <laughs> oh, that's a new one. That is another new one. You need to be a good doge. 
Okay, that's a bad doge too right there. He's he's dogeing. <laughs> when did I say that? I don't remember. <laughs> GG cookie time. Uh, GG RPG nerds and the missile mod time. <laughs> well done, RPG. Well done. All right, GG cookie time. That's so made down. <laughs> You need to be a good doge. That's a bad doge. <laughs> uh, yeah, we didn't even get the resultant shield, man. Zoltan A, so good. All right. Zoltan A down. End with an amazing new uh, missile mod. Exclamation. Never heard that one. Let's check that score. 59-23. Zoltan A, why are you so strong? Being a dad, bad doge, that's peak, yeah. Rand, you're a good doge. Have a cookie, thanks. <laughs> Let's see. 50 ships, 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 50 ships, 102, two beacons, 1929 scrip. Sector 2 is probably our worst sector. Yeah, that's crazy. Sector 2 was our worst. Sector 2 civilian was not very good. It's back from the time when the dodge mod was still just doge without the wizard hat. That's a very old video. Wow, how do you find these, RPG? Well done. Well done. Cracks me up. All right. Well, we won one run, and I was having a good time, so that means I probably am going to get punished after this one. So I'm going to send sure she's a restroom. Y'all feel free to grab a drink, grab a snack. When we come back, we will play another ship and hopefully win and probably listen to more past ran shenanigans. Y'all rock. Seen a bit, my friends.